Hello, this is a Jay the Shark and Friends and Russell mm, and Russell podcast. And in today's show, we're talking to my longest Thai friend and Phuket native Kun Beer. Beer tells us what Phuket was like 30 years ago, how she's not the best fish babysitter in the world, and how her rather tough upbringing was something that changed her life forever. Interesting podcast this week. This is our first Phuket native and Beer's got an amazing story and I've known her for 12 years and I've never heard this before. Definitely worth a listen. Of course, they're all worth a listen, but this one, yeah, good one this. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> now, you can't just start laughing now. This is it now. You've been chit-chatting for the last half an hour. By, oh, by the way, you're late, Russell. No, Thanks I'm not. I'm actually, are. I am late. You are. <gasps> Nearly half an hour late, Russell. Yeah. Well, no, only three minutes. I did say it'd be 11.20. Oh, I see. Okay. You then. did send me a message. Um, Beer, you're our first full Thai person. Oh, <laughs> honoured. I think really? so, because Big Eye was half Chinese, half Thai. Right. Janice was half Thai, half something. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah, bonkers. Yeah. Um, although, fit still. <laughs> is this live? Damn it. Um, Beer, you're our fast... Is it really live? I thought it's it's not really live. Edited. This is going out to the world now as no. we speak. Just relax now. Um, so we're here in Bake again. Other bakes are available with the lovely Beer. Hello, everyone. How are you feeling? Good night last night? Now, yes. Yeah. Beer was. was out last night at a... No, what? I'm allowed to say it. She's okay, pointing okay. out. Beer is, um, we should explain, Lyndon's also here, <laughs> who sat quietly next to her, because Lyndon is Beer's boyfriend. I've been dragged along. Oh, ap- apparently he's been dragged yes. along for moral support. Thank you very much for being here. Beer was very uh, nervous to be by herself. Yeah. Uh, Beer, now I'm nervous with a microphone. You're holding that microphone very well. I'm experienced. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, bless her. Beer, you can say it, it's fine. For relax. those of you watching in black and white. <laughs> Beer's now giggling her <laughs> boobies off. Um, right, Beer, tell I'm us. I'm going to swear and curse. You can swear. We swear like buggery all the like time anyway. Just talk into the microphone. It, yeah, you it would just swear. be the, the yellow thing. Talk into that. Okay. And this is awkward, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to wave it around, that's fine. Just wave your head around with it so you're constantly talking into okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do my best. Right. Or t- Are you... Are you going to tell us about you now, Beer? Lyndon, <laughs> stop winding your beautiful girlfriend up. Uh, Beer, tell us who you are and where did you come from? Um, I'm a local here. Were you born in Phuket? Yes, I was. Oh, I didn't know that. Born and bred you in Phuket. You didn't Pukiland. know that? Oh, yes. I should know yeah. that. Because Not many of us here? No, uh, Beer, you've been my longest Thai friend, I think. Really? I think so. I don't know anyone that longer than I've known you. So when really? I first came here, you and I met pretty much quite soon Be after careful. that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's that's, that's, that's dive right into that then. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll, we'll go through Beer's dirty, <laughs> rotten, naughty love life a bit later. Do, do uh, we have oh long enough on the no. pod? <laughs> so you that's the thing we're not going to talk about. <laughs> okay. So you were born and brought up in Phuket? Yes. Mm-hmm. And how was it back in the day before all us jolly foreigners came and ruined it for you? Wow. It was quiet. So I was born um, near the, the big, where the big Tesco is now. Oh, wow. Oh, actually, where QSI is. Really? Yes. Okay. It was right up there. Far out. Near cemetery. Can I ask a question? <laughs> that's just yeah. what happens at the end, isn't it? How <laughs> long ago were you born? Is that, that's a nice way to say how old are you? 38 this year. Shut the front door. Are you really? Yeah. Good, you're older than me. Really? Yeah, I'm only 36. No. No. Are yeah. you seriously You 38? must be 42. <laughs> He's older than that. Yeah. Are you serious? Only 38? Yes. Damn, girl, you look same good. same age. No? Yeah, we can be the same age. I'll take 38. Yeah. I'll, I'll oh. grab onto that little... Win. <laughs> yes. Oh. High five. Ching, ching. <laughs> so 38 years ago, you were brought into this beautiful place that we call Phuket as a local. Fair to say, yes. you've seen one or two changes. Oh, Okay. <laughs> There were, where I was, it was just full of coconut trees. And that was that. No lights. 
and it was normal back then. So, so where, where were you living in your early years? Where, where, about, where about Sunday Island were you living? So I lived, back then it was outskirt. I mean, it was not even town. Sure. Sorry, I keep moving this thing. Um. <laughs> For those people, when she says this thing, she means the microphone and not the normal thing that she moves around a lot in her hand. It's weird to have this in front of me and it's yellow or green, whatever. Anyway, so... Do you want Russell's <laughs> pink one? <laughs> no, because it looks dodgy. It looks even more dodgy. Okay, no, this is actually really interesting because you are first uh, native Phuketian. Native, oh my You're God. a proper Phuketian. Yes, I am. Yes. So it was just coconut trees and motorbikes and yeah, sand. Yeah, very small and road. I don't know much about beaches because I actually we, we 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 didn't go to many beaches back then. It was oh, we went to Nayang. We like Nayang, so went to Nayang, and but we didn't go to Patong. Actually, Patong was forbidden. For well, it's forbidden now, well, forbidden I think, for a lot of people. Yeah. Why was it forbidden back then? For for children, you know, to go to it was just really? crazy. Yeah. And was it, gr- sorry, to, was it always a, a crazy place? Was it kind of the? It was even not easy to to get to get to. It was just oh. a dirt track road. And the hill road. was just so high. Oh, so it and wasn't. It was it, so steep. The ping pong shows weren't there then. I don't know. I had no idea. I think I went to Baton Are the they first there now? time. I was 20-something already. <laughs> honestly. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, no, no. Honestly, it was not easy to to even drive up or ride up there. It, it, it was, was a, just a dirt very, track very road, difficult. really, wasn't it, going over the hill yeah. into Bad Town? I'm just I'm pointing to my microphone, so can you talk oh. into the top for me? Okay. On the top. That's like, oh, be- God, there you that's go. That's weird. That's better. I know it's heavy, isn't it? It You're is. Not used to something so and it's heavy, in the face. As Lyndon's still here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so born and bred in Phuket. Where did you go to school? I went to a uh, girls' school, Satri Phuket School. So I think everyone went to that school. Well, oh, not the boys. And I went to the Catholic school called Darasmut School, near Central now. That's a Catholic school? Yes. All oh, right, okay. Mm-hmm. So you're a very religious upbringing. I actually, I was. I was. And I changed my religion to Christian, actually, legally, when I was 14. Legally? Yeah. I'm still I'm Christian okay. by law. We'll get I'm into that Buddhist. in a minute. So, so let's get into it now. Well, no, I just so <laughs> I mean I'm. Oh, oh! See, Lyndon's just delivered some food. I don't know who's that is. Well, neither do I. But it looks quite yummy for those of you. We didn't order it. You ordered it. I didn't order it. Oh, not mine. Huh? I mean, we, we, I mean, we'll have it, but... <laughs> a fruit salad's turned <laughs> up at our free. podcasting table. No one knows what's going on. <laughs> go on <laughs> Lyndon's buggered so off to eat. Go oh, on, you were asking... That looks good as well. Asking so, sorry. Very good so question. Yeah. At the age of 14, you decided, no, I'm going to... I'm going to... Canon being Buddhist, I take it? It, 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 was, it was not just that. It was... Life was difficult. And my grandmother, which was half... I don't know. She's mixed something. Chinese, Thai. Yeah. And because life was not easy. And she thought it would, it would be good for me to go to church. So school, I went to church in school as well, mm-hmm. but my grandmother, my grandmother th- thought that it would be good for me to go to another church. It was actually, this is really weird, because school had Catholic church, mm-hmm. but I went to a Protestant, Protestant one. church in Phuket Town. And this was at the age of 14, you said? 14, yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> how did you find the distinction then between the two? Nothing. Yeah. Honestly, there were no difference. It, it was... There's no difference. It was just normal. Very, very normal. Um, and I liked going to church. I, I liked it. I found that it was very peaceful. Okay. And it was not... Uh, it's so different to, you know, when you go to church, you know, in America or in the UK. Very, very different. Have you been to church and... Did you go to church? Does well, he look like the type that would no, go to church? I, I, I have hmm. been, I have participated in going into a church. I, I, are you meaning the more kind of evangelical kind of yeah. jumping around? Can, can I, amen! Yeah, cheering yeah, yeah. Yes. and hugging. No. No. Yeah, I think that's a very different... That's I think more of a gospel That's church. what I did, actually. I was really what? into it. I found peace. Were you in Sister Act with Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> that's what I'm picturing right now. <laughs> back in the habit. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It was, it was, was that it the number two? That was the number two, you're back in the habit. Brilliant. No, we were doing reading exam. Um, and feeding people, people in need. That's out what of, we were out doing. of interest, you're, the, the school was Catholic. Yeah. So in terms of the teachings and what you were going through at school, they must have been aware that, you know, on a Sunday you're going to a Protestant church. Was yeah. there any... No. It was very normal. Cool. I didn't even know that it was not normal for European. I actually don't know the difference between whatever you're talking about. 
Protestant and Catholic. I wouldn't even it's know just the difference. Well, diff- just different sex of the religion. You're going to have to ask Lyndon about this. Sex. Thank the you. The C and a T. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard yeah. the word sex and I got excited. Yeah, yeah. Back to Patong. <laughs> yeah. Right. Sp- speaking of churches. Um <laughs> <laughs> and you're still, you're still in the religious yes, set Yes, and now? I was baptised as well, actually. Oh, blimey. So you've yeah. got a... Isn't that something yeah. different? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I yeah. was baptised in Aoyon, if you know where Aoyon is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, a friend of mine was baptised in Aoyon Beach. Yeah. I actually didn't really know what the purpose of it then. but I mean, What is the purpose of a baptism? I, I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. You're asking the wrong person. It's religion. <laughs> What's so the difference pure, between the baptism to and, the, and the... To be pu- yeah, you ain't pure, love. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah really we'll get sc- on to that later. screwed up on that, didn't you? Just they? said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you grew up as a, as a Buddhist Christian... Baptized Jewish lady. Um, I think no, Jewish. That is no okay, Judaism though. in there at all. <laughs> no Judaism. No, 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 um, no isn't such Jesus thing. Jesus Jew, d- d- Jew though. Sorry. Isn't yes. It, yeah. So yeah. See that I never get is so you're a Christian and you're following someone who's Jewish. It's I know. It's all a bit actually, of a cluster. Yes. Jewish don't celebrate. They don't celebrate Christmas, right? Correct. So. Uh, 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 let's don't get into no, that. No, 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 you're well, right. So, so th- well, the follow-on question was, uh, I mean, do you, are you practicing in any way now? Do you go to church now? No. No. I stopped going to church at 18 because we moved house. No, I moved out. So I thought, I mean, it, it was a really good experience. So long four years. Because, mm-hmm. uh, sorry, was the church yeah. in English or in Thai? Thai. Okay. Yeah. And they had like a little nursery as well. So I was looking after most, children. Most Christians have little nurseries. <laughs> no, no, honestly, it was no, like no, a school. Was that the Catholics? Am I going down the wrong one? <laughs> it was like a little school and we were cooking for people. And we took people in. They can have food for free. We were feeding people. Oh, that's a good thing. So yeah. you're doing good stuff. So you yeah. started your life good for charity. And then at 18, stopped and... You could say that. It was not my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was there helping yeah, fair and enough. eating. Um, I was, let, let's move on, I'm on a few years. Um, your English is pretty damn good. Thanks to my boyfriend here. No, because I met you 10, 11, 12 years ago. Yeah, I don't ago. know how I was then. It was still good. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think when we first met, but it might be around the, sort of the same sort of time. Well, yeah, I met maybe. Beer through a mutual friend of ours because you were doing graphic Who? design. Andrew oh, Howard. Andrew, that's how you yes. and I got together. Not that's right. Got together, got yes. together, but yes. that's how we first met. You were met. on the island. I was on the island mm-hmm. in 2007. Didn't Beer do the artwork for our walk? Uh, might have done. Yeah. Coconut Island? No, when we did our three legged walk, I think you did the artwork for that. Yes, you did, did you not? You did our poster for us. Yeah. For what? When we did our three. Oh, for oh. Sake. Should we say <gasps> it again? You your, your English is great, by the way. Um, <laughs> when we did our three-legged walk, I'm sure you were the graphic lady that Maybe. did our poster for I us. Maybe. I need to see it. I can't remember. Oh, uh, we'll, I can, we'll get I Julie on it. I can, I can it whip out. it out for you. Um. <laughs> so to speak. Um, so where did you learn English? <laughs> Sorry, you were sucking your plastic straw from Bake. Bake, stop using plastic straws. <laughs> um, it was very strange. Learned from school, from Darasmus School, the Catholic school. But it was basic. I actually... Uh, I think learn from experience with my first job as a graphic designer. And I didn't know much then. Um, so I was so- talking through the marketing manager. And then the person, the marketing manager then talked to the client. I think I had my first client, you know, saw the foot. I was going to say white. <laughs> <laughs> client, boyfriend, Foreigner. same thing, isn't Foreigner. it? <laughs> and um, I thought it would be easier if I just speak directly to the client. But I didn't know much then. But I was... Practicing, but okay. how did you practice? Because uh, I'll tell you why. Because I met there was a guy who I worked with at the British Coconut Island where we probably first met, who learned his English through watching movies. So he'd watch a English or, a, or not an English, but an English spoken movie mm-hmm. with Thai subtitles. Yes. Then he'd watch it again without the Thai yes. subtitles. So he would like kind of go through a whole process of it. I did exactly the same thing through songs as well. Um, Were you and singing? Movies. No. Damn it. Carpenter. Carpenter. Actually, I don't know why. Carpenter? It's something, yeah. What, the Carpenters? Yeah. The what, Carpenters. Carol Carpenter? Yes. Far out. Yeah. Wow. As you do. D- don't know why. Don't ask me. Oh, my auntie. My auntie had some records. Why so I would just listen to just the, the music. Yeah. But m- suddenly appear. But again, I mean, the, using Every music time. and song. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> using using songs and music. <laughs> just like It me. made sense then. Yeah. <laughs> So then you decided, so w- I met you when you were graphicking, and you're still graphicking. So that's what you technically you do. Mm-hmm. So what was the process of you from 
going, leaving church, leaving church, and becoming a graphic, graphic designer. Yeah. Okay. Fill that gap in for us. <clears throat> wow. Oh my god. And so then we'll fill your gap in later. <laughs> Sorry, I got couldn't resist. I thing. couldn't resist. Couldn't um, resist. I had to get a job quick then at eighteen because life was very difficult at home. Sorry. Um, was you keep bringing this div- and I'm I'm trying not to ask because about everything the div- was related to that. I mean, I can I can mention it. Okay. Oh. Uh, God, actually, it, it will take ages. I mean, okay. Could, okay. Mom, it was a pricey. Okay, mum and dad left when I was very young. I, I was three. My brother was a couple of months old or something. Um, and everything just went downhill from there. I didn't even there. know you had a brother. Exactly. This is how much I've known you for the last 20 yeah. years. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. so grandma stepped in and, and raised you both. Yes, yeah. that's right. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, and she was tough. She was really, really tough. I mean, I don't know if you heard of... You know, Thai, they, they love hitting their children. I mean, I was beaten. Table manner, anything, just beaten if you don't do well. If you eat with your mouth full, if you fork and, you know, calorie touching. It was just tough, you know, and everything, it, it was just not nice being at home. And, you know, um, was not blamed, but was pointed at all the time that I would, I'm not going to do well and, you know, all that. And my grandmother was sick, um, and it was just uh, nothing was nice at home. I mean, I, I skipped a lot of things. No, that's but fine. I just wanted to get out. I just wanted to get out. You know, so at eighteen, you thought house. that's it. This is the age of eighteen. I can get out now, and yeah. I can go and do my own thing. And so, sorry, with the with the schooling system, were you still? How does it work? From from. I think I had a good education for for back then. But when do you finish school? Did you go to because you say no, eighteen? You left. So that's the thing because my family can't afford it. Um, I, my grandmother passed away, so I was with my auntie for about a year, I think. And, and sorry, how old were you at that stage? 17. 17. 16, I think 16 she passed away. And my auntie had two sons, two sons, um, and, and it was difficult for her, for us, so four people, you know, four children living with her. And I thought, you know what, I, I can't do this. And she said she can't afford for both of us to go to uni. Mm-hmm. So either my brother or myself. So I said, okay, no, just, just he can go to uni. Or, is he, sorry, or get is he job. older than you? Younger. He is younger. Okay. Three, three years younger. Okay. About three years younger. Um, so I thought, okay, I need to get, uh, uh, you know, a good job. But I was very determined not to get a small job. Like I was very, very determined. Um, my auntie said, okay, do you want to work in Seven Eleven? I'm like, <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Spotty no. cup, shine cup. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I thought to myself, I'm going to get a really nice job, a really good job that pay, pay well. Hmm. But I was lucky enough to get the first job as a graphic designer. But I before that, I had a course, I had a computer course oh, okay, that I yeah, finished yeah. and I, I had a certificate and then, you know, I, I, I could use that to present myself. Had you done kind of arty stuff before that through school and growing up? Were you, all, were you interested in art? Because, I mean, graphic is a lot of art. No. Not, not at all. I think the turning point was I was in a computer class at school. No one was li- listening to the teacher. I was not listening either. But I was, th- I was just turning around to look at something. And she thought I was listening to her. <laughs> so among thir- uh, 40 students, I was the only one turning around. And she said, okay, none of you guys are listening. or teach beer. And then it was like the only compliment I had. No one gives me any compliments, you know back at home so it that was, was like yeah. it was like she was like an angel and that's it since then I was just like focusing and I was really good in English and computer so it brought my my GPA GPA yeah yep. up so and then I used that to you know to 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 get the um, computer course and then I was interested in computer mm-hmm. but not so much of Photoshop and Illustrator didn't know much then but I was lucky to get a first job with Limmark you know Limmark in Bukit Town, yeah. yeah? They Do took I? me in because they Printing shot company. someone. Someone just left. They needed someone in there. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was very, very lucky to get a job there. And I had to learn very quickly. I think in three months, I was promoted to be a chief graphic designer. Mm. Which, wow. which it speaks a lot of volumes to you as an individual because mm. you had no support behind you from back home mm. you're entering into a world that you know very little about yeah but you've made that conscious decision i'm not going to end up working in a 7-eleven that's, right. that's um, right and that's no, it no, there's any, can i just say there's nothing wrong working in 7-eleven 
it, it just no, I know, but it was just me. <laughs> I didn't want to sit <laughs> down from Sorry, there. Did you see the look he just gave? <laughs> what was that look for? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> no, in terms of beer as an individual, I'm saying the drive that you had to say, right, I'm mm. not going to do this, I'm not going to do that. I want to set myself for the highest standard and go and push and drive for yeah. it. Yeah, sure, but I'm just saying that people that want to go and work in Seven Eleven, there is still a progression up to be a manager to own a franchise. I'm just yes. saying, don't knock Seven Eleven as we, you know. I know. I just. Just because you don't like Seven Eleven beer, yeah. you're taking just, it out on everybody else. No, but I can't. You see, I tried something that it. W- I tried hard work before. When I was, I think, 15, so school break, two months school you're, break. I'm sorry, you're dating Lyndon. That's hard work every single day, <laughs> Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> oh, there he is, look. No, yeah, he yeah. Is. Now he's yeah. listening. Nodding in agreement, yeah. <laughs> so um, um, school break, my auntie said, 16, I think 16, my auntie said, don't sit at home, go do something, earn some money. And I'm like, what am I going to do? I, what do I do? Only two months. She said, do something. So I went to this salon that I used to go to all the time, and I said, could I get a job doing something she said sure you can wash ha- uh, hair i'll give you five bar the head <laughs> five bars <laughs> careful of what, yeah, yeah. Well, washing yeah washing hair. Hair. yeah okay just because yeah. <laughs> five bar of giving hair doesn't sound that, that good of a deal but my auntie would, Depends which she would on. get mad at me if i sorry but hold on what? I can, because we're all laughing <laughs> yeah. i'm not sure <laughs> you were washing so you got five yeah. bar for yeah. washing yeah. a person's head, yes. not giving head. <laughs> That's where the where we're getting lost. I just want to make sure we're getting this clear. Hair wash, hair wash, hair wash. Yeah. okay. Hair wash. See now you got the look. <laughs> I did get the look then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. that was your summer job. It like, was not fun. So how many? Um, didn't know how, many how many heads did you wash? Bloody damn, 20 a day, and that's like 200, but it was not a lot. I was just, I'm glad you did the maths then. I yeah. was to work out to be a 5, 10, 50. Yeah. But it, it was not fun. So it was like, it was not for me. I'm not going to work in a salon. A lot of my friends did. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to be washing but hair. It, but the, the great thing for that, because I've worked in some really horrible jobs. I've been a dustman, a trash guy. Mm. I've done, really? I've, yeah, I did that for a day. I peeled potatoes for about two I months, like just peeling potatoes. I've been moving for a couple of days. I've got a moving job tomorrow morning, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think doing that, at least you've done it and you yeah. know what it's like. Yeah. You know, you've got that experience of what it's like to do an actual, you know, not a, a job. You know, just to earn something. It's good to sound different, yeah. Just to and earn it's all life experience, school break, right? yeah. Sure. But I didn't like it too much. It was not fun. Can I just ask, yeah. when you, at that age, when you're going through school and it and also it became clear that they weren't going to send you to university, but you sent mm. your brother instead. No, they didn't actually at the end. At the end, they didn't. Yeah. Everything and broke. And that was another thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Which I was going to come to. But in terms of, did you find, was there any difference in how you were treated growing up as the oldest versus your younger brother? Or were you both treated very much the same? No, not the same. I think my grandmother was really harsh on me because I was, I still am the oldest. a girl. <laughs> because I'm a, a big sister and, you know, I, I supposed to be... Um, the one that I supposed to look after myself. I think she. Okay, I didn't know she was sick then. She uh, she was diabetic, okay. um, had heart problems, and mm. she had cancer as well. I didn't know how sick she was, so she just wanted me to do well. So she was forcing really you harsh, into that. Yeah, yeah, really, really hard. She was yelling at me all the time, punishing me with no reason. I didn't know that she was going. So and also she forced me to uh, marry someone older than me. But of course, I refused, and that was just, yeah, it was difficult. That's why I wanted to get out of the house. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> don't, don't blame you. It was well, yeah, let, let's, let's bring up the pod a little bit, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything more um. happier? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, gram- uh, your grandma uh, passed away. Your, your parents have got, uh, do you know where they are? Have you ever had contact with them? <laughs> do you, do you My care? My mum tried to contact, to, well, actually, she came to school to see me once she came in i remember had an announcement and said miss you wonder come down to the principal office your your mum is here i'm like what and how old were you at this stage God, 12 13? and she left when you were three yeah so you, and you haven't and I'm seen like, Mom? Not, uh, no wow. i mean and wasn't the day of mobile phones either was it or anything like connection no, so no, there was no. nothing of that so wow so i came down and i saw this woman crying with a bag full of snacks <laughs> And I'm like, what? And, and I, I, would, I just stood there and I was like confused. 
about mum. Okay, mum then, because I, I didn't even recognize her. And she was crying. She said, I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry I left you. And she gave me a big bag full of snack and 70 baht. And she left. So I went home. Um, That's half a day hair washing, to be fair. <laughs> Just to put it in perspective. <laughs> So went home, told my grandmother, I was beaten. And I'm like, why am I beaten? She was mad at me because my mom came to see me. Wow. And I was very confused. And she told me to rip the 50 and the 20 baht in the bin. I think that was the most upset thing I had Absolutely. to do because yeah, yeah. money. Out of interest, your grandmother, is that on your mother's side or your father's side? Father's side. Father's side, yeah. okay. So everyone told me that mum was mum was bad, and you know everyone was yeah. trying to get me to forget her. And I was actually calling one of my aunties mum because I was bullied at school at kindergarten when 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 she left. So so then I have I had a mum then. So the family was trying to kind of guide me to a different direction and sure, trying yeah, to yeah. forget her. So she never tried again since. But and then just a couple of years ago, we just. We were in Italy, I think, and she contacted me to, through Facebook. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is going on? <coughs> and I'm like, this is just crazy and disgraceful. Disgraceful. It just, I just didn't like that one bit. This is why I don't use Facebook as well. I don't like Facebook because mm. it's, it, it's just weird. You know, I haven't seen mum for a long time and then she tried to contact me through Facebook. So you just ignored it? I ignored it at first. And then she was trying to say something, saying happy birthday to me when it was my brother's birthday she didn't even remember <laughs> her children's bloody birthdays oh so shit. i told her to please just leave us alone basically and she okay. told me i was ungrateful wow mm. which well but so my next question was going to be you know have you had the chat to find out the why she left or, or any no. of that but no and I, i'm guessing you're not really interested either no Lyndon said i should she's still around either I, well here I or in Panga. she's here wow I don't and your father my father passed away five years ago. Okay. Yeah. And you had no contact? No, actually, I don't speak to any of my family members. Actually, I didn't even speak to my brother. Well, who, okay, well, that's obviously the next question. But um, <laughs> Far out. my brother is now here. I moved him from, he was living in Chiang Rai. Mm -hmm. And he had a heart attack at the age of 31. Wow. Yeah. Um, we didn't speak. But, I mean, he had to call someone. It was only me. Um, so he he messaged me and said, I have a heart attack, I'm in a hospital. And I'm like, I didn't know what to think because we're not close and am I supposed to f feel like really bad or, you know, what, what, what should I do? So, but I, I flew up and, and see him anyway. He was in a, he was so unwell. He was really unwell. Well, there's an interesting link there if you think about it from your early childhood of going to church, mm. right? And as you said, you're just helping out people, feeding them, people you don't know. Mm. You've not maybe got any, honestly, there's no care or empathy. There obviously is because you're helping. But at the same time, so your brother, an estranged brother has phoned you up and said, I've had a heart attack. Mm. You're questioning how you're supposed to feel. But yeah. at the same time, it that's also really irrelevant. Yeah. I'm going to go and help someone. Mm. It, 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 we had mixed, I had mixed feelings. Everything that was going through in the family, just everything. The, 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 the lies that, you know, uh, and, you know, we, 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 we brought up, my, my brother was treated differently to me as well. I thought it was unfair to me. Right. So when I left home, I actually didn't, we, we, we didn't really contact, we didn't speak to each other. So when he left, I didn't know how he was. I knew he was struggling. I was struggling as well. But, I mean, no one helped me, so I, I couldn't help him. I didn't have a lot of money then, like, you know, yeah. and, but he was, like, asking me to help him all the time. And dad as well, dad left and dad was somewhere else and he was broken and it, it was just difficult. I didn't know if I should be helping everyone. What about myself? You know, sure. I was going through a tough time already. But anyway, so I went to see my brother anyway in Chiang Rai and stayed with him and helped him. So took him to the hospital and made sure that he was okay. And he said he needed a surgery, which required a lot of mm. money. And, uh, and then I thought, it's my brother anyway at the end of the day. What do I do? I'm going to have to look after him. And I think we grew closer then, sure. in those three days. So, so I was there, came down, went back again when he needed a second surgery because he had 
uh, you know, Proper his artery, surgery. yeah, it was like 90, 95% clot. He was going to die. Mm. So I was looking after him and he was well enough to be on medication. Took him out of the emergency room. Just took him out, waiting for the medication. And he had a heart attack right in front of me. Right in front of me. We had to rush, I had to rush him back to the hospital. And that was just very, very scary. Sure. And yeah. But, and then I told him that he couldn't, shouldn't be living in Chiang Rai anymore. It was bad, bad pay, bad food, bad diet. So I moved him here. Okay. And he's got a really nice job now. He's very happy. He's working at a central depot. Oh, really? Very happy. Okay. Earning actually a really good money and good, you know, good, good uh, commission, well, service charge. So he's very happy. So you're, you're in, uh, I think you're obviously in touch. But yes, maybe now. Not. But we still don't speak every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. But it's you're still s- keeping awkward. an eye on it, on him. Yes. Right, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. We go to Central and we see him a couple of times a week. Okay. But, you know, we, we can't speak. Like, we can't just sit down and chat and, you know, how are you today? It's just, I don't have that feeling. I just and don't have that connection. I, th- I would also suggest it doesn't, I don't think that really matters. I mean, people put a big thing on when it's your brother or it's your sister or it's your mother. Mm. You, you should make the effort. Unless if no. the connection's not there... Mm. The connection's not there. Yeah. It's, uh, and I mean, obviously what you've done for him is brilliant mm. um, and really lovely. Mm. And yeah, well, if you see him across the road, or he's, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you're not going to diss him across the road. You'll say hi and engage. Yes, of course, yeah. And why, why does it necessarily have to be more than that? Yeah, I, I've nev- I, it's never oh. in my head that I'm not the... Okay, yeah, I'm full Thai and we're supposed to look after our grandparents, our parents. That's actually never... I just, it's just really not me. Because I thought, I didn't choose to be born, you know, to be here. They chose to have me. Mm. They're supposed to look after me. If I want to look after them, I will look after them, you know, if I can. But don't expect me to, like, look after you until, you you know, for the rest of your life. It's never not Jesus. Me. No, honestly, I'm being no, honest. No, no, I'm, I'm with being you. Honest. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to. All this deepness that <laughs> we're in. Okay, okay. And let's try talk to about cleanse. something else. I was, okay. I was hoping you that we could talk about beer and why she wears such short shorts, and we talk <laughs> about her boobies, and we can talk about you all sorts shorts. of stuff. Well, it, they are pair of shorts are trying to be a skirt. Well, no, I'm not talking about just generally. <laughs> so today. now I'm, I'm looking. Just, I'm just, <laughs> but that was a great story, and I didn't, I didn't want to interrupt because you, you were asking some great questions because this is Russell's podcast, which I'm still yeah. upset <laughs> about from last night, by the way. I should. But okay, no, okay. I'm, 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 in all fairness, I'm joking aside. It is an, it's an interesting and it's a great because we don't often get into deep stories. No, no, no. So, yeah. so, that, so that, was, yeah. that was. Thank you for opening up and we appreciate no that. No problem. Yeah. Um, yeah so, so anyway, yeah, moving, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> short shorts. <laughs> moving on. Boobs. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, I, can, I can say the word boobs. Um, so we all were out last night. We were indeed. It was a good night. Mm. We were at the lovely band pot. Yeah. Other pots are available. How was your food? Food was really good. I had double pork belly. Love it when you get double pork. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Being, being so like coming it. a mile away. Pork, yeah, I know. Pork I from know. both ends. Brilliant. <laughs> um, can we just talk? So you yeah. are technically Lyndon's... Technically? Bit of stuff. Fiance, bit on the side. Girlfriend, bit on the side. What are we? We are... <laughs> what are we? Yeah, Lyndon. We are... <laughs> amazing. 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 Yeah. We are partners. I always refer him as a partner because, I mean, when it's, it's strange, uh, especially with the age, oh God, I don't want to say that. Yeah, age gap. When, s- when Lyndon says she's my girlfriend, it, it makes me sound like, yeah, of course, she's, she's a girlfriend. And right. they just, uh, they just, know what? They just date. No, and I, I can That's see a point, actually. It's a great point because I didn't realize that you're 38. Right, because you do look a lot, lot younger, and that's Thank me you. being very nice. Um, <laughs> so I can, um, I can, because th- Lyndon's, your Lyndon, age, your on the age, other hand, Lyndon doesn't. Your, your age difference <laughs> actually isn't that much compared to a lot isn't of people that, that I much. know. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. But yeah, you're right. Old Granddad over there calling you his girlfriend <laughs> comes across yes. like you are just. I, I know we're, what you're we're back to church. And when we, <laughs> <laughs> and when we together, we. What I we, we well, don't, we don't need details. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I mean, like we don't look like we're, if I can say, married couple. Like we we look like we're you still act dating. Like you're a married couple for so sure. I've heard the stories. People just assume that we we just we you know just got together just a couple of months. And how long <laughs> have you been together? 
10, ten years. years just last week. Come again? <laughs> they have. Um, ten years. No, oh, blimey. I, we, we had the story on Lyndon's when, when Linda was on the podcast. <laughs> I, I got these two little chipmunks together. Oh, yes, oh, of course. Yeah, we were going to yeah, talk yeah. about yeah, that we instead. Yeah. We were talking about depressing stuff. No, I know. Yeah, so so Beer and I had been friends because we got together. Yeah, so <laughs> St- to sticking with the depressing stuff. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah. we got friendly in about we 2000. We got friendly. Yeah, no, define, f- well, define friendly. We were doing, uh, Beer was doing graphic work for a company I was working for and some personal graphic yeah. work as well. So we just got talking through that and that was, I think I'm sure beer was my first and she is still my my first ever tie friend. I'm your first <laughs> you're my first um, but then I knew Lyndon through the property game beer at the time was working at Royal Paquette Marina working for Paul Rope Rob, Rob Rob whatever his name is so you're working <laughs> oh I can just see his shop actually across from where we sat in bake oh uh, yeah. Paul Rope so beer was working in the shop at Paul Rope and Rob. Lyndon oh whatever Lyndon was working at Royal Paquette Marina and Linda knew that I saw me and Beer talking one day, and then he phoned up and said, hey, sexy. And I went, no, no, this is Jay. He went, oh, sorry, I got the wrong one. <laughs> and he basically said, can I, can I ask Beer if I could... Oh, no, he no. asked for Beer's number, and I said, look, I'm not giving you my friend's number unless I ask her first. So I had to ask her oh, first. Oh, is that what you said? Yeah. I, I didn't thought just give he your insisted. I thought he insisted to give you his number to pass it to me. I can't remember how it worked. Either way, I checked with you first... And I said, look, there's this really weird old guy. That's, that's <laughs> you did say something you. like that. Yeah, that, yeah that, you that did. That fancies you and wants to get in your little short pants. <laughs> and um, yeah, and they turned up and he turned up and had a massive Chang Noi and job <laughs> up and look at him now. Together for 10 years. And he asked you if I was mental. It, it was that word. Is being mental. Is she yes. one of those mental girls? Yes. Really? No? I don't. I think it's for... Yeah. Um, I don't did know. I don't know if he asked me, did he? He told me he did. Oh, I, beer, I can't remember last night, let alone <laughs> 10 years ago, for Christ. Oh, I do remember yeah. a couple of things from last night. Your podcast, great, Russell. <laughs> Who said that? I'm not going to mention the name because she's lis- she listened. Oh, right. At least we had one <laughs> listener. In fact, we had a few listeners. No, I'm joking aside. Um, so that's how... So mm-hmm. And now look at you, 10 years later. Yeah. Yeah. Ten years we living together, and you kill his fish. He told us on the last. Oh, oh that was right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I how did many not fish, technically. How many fish have you killed of Lindens? My God, A I lot. did that twice. <laughs> it was not my fault. How many fish? They peed and pooed themselves to death. Yeah, fish do that in the apparently. pond because there was stress. They Honestly, peed and pooed themselves. Yeah. Why were they stressed? What was you doing? Because Playing they're bad in music their little you had white you were fishing there. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> when when koi or fish in general, I think, get stressed, especially koi, they they pee. But so why the are they stre- What are you stressing them out with? I don't know because we were in. It. When you get stressed, no, do you pee and poo yourself. <laughs> Would you? Yeah, many yeah, times. Yeah. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never done it. No, but no, I didn't kill his fish. They killed themselves. In a court of law, I think that I'll you, say, would, you show would me be the evidence. held... Yeah, well, well, I'll show you the evidence. The fish aren't there <laughs> the anymore. The, the, the fish are gone. <laughs> or they're floating. I wish to register a dead <laughs> fish. <laughs> I didn't overfeed them. I don't think so. Well, you just didn't feed them. One Which scoop full. That's what I was told. Does he get really... Actually, because he's, he's walked off to talk to someone. Does he get really strict with you about his fish? No, he's actually... he. No, you no, know, don't, no, 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 beer. Be honest, come on. <laughs> he, he can't no, hear no, us now. He can't hear no. you. So Lyndon dish the loves dirt. his fish. But he never like, oh, don't touch them or don't do that. Never. When I kill... <laughs> 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 Thanks for joining the podcast. <laughs> Beer's just admitted okay, that. When his fish died... <laughs> that um, had nothing to do with beer, allegedly. He was... Was he in New York? Or in the UK, somewhere. I, I called him and said, baby, please don't get mad at me. Such a women response. Yeah, fish? it really is. Yeah, yeah. Because, babe, uh, if I'd have phone, if I'd have killed your fish or cat or whatever you've got, right, and I just, hey, babe, yeah, I'm really sorry, I killed your fish. You'd go frigging ballistic at me. Yes, would I try would. ballistic. I would. Did, yeah. did he go ballistic at you? <laughs> no. Exactly. Bloody women had he, to take me too. Because he knew it was not my fault. I said, fish are dead. Are they floating. I think. <laughs> 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 but another word, it's not fish. The, the fish. Yeah. So how many fishies? I think eight. Wow. Then and these are all lot? worth how much each? A lot. He'd never told me. <gasps> I remember I picked little one, which is, uh, they call tosai. Tosai is a tiny fish. 
Some of them are like 3,000 baht each. Small, tiny one. Do, so, do you get frustrated with his weirdness on these fish? I, I did at first, and then I supported him. We drove to um, Nakon together to select fish together. <laughs> Brought no, I them don't back. even know. Give me a reference. How far is Nakon from six here? Six hours, hours away. Yeah. Yeah. So you drove for six hours to yeah. look at fish? Buy fish. Yeah. It was our little trip, driving together. It's like a little trip, getaway yeah. little trip. I mean, I've gone on some road trips in my time. I supported him no, because it's no, something that he likes. I don't like fish Does that much. Are you, are you an animal person? No. No, okay. What Not does really. He, um, what does he support you with? Oh, but I had two hamsters. You had what? Had two hamsters. Wow. Had them for four years. Hamsters. Mm. They're not supposed to last no, that long. No, they don't last for four years. You sure it's a hamster, not a guinea no, pig? No, honestly, we looked after them really well by not touching them. <laughs> by not? Oh, <laughs> because you're not supposed don't to. Because what? your hand's dirty. When I, when I well, you're not going to give them the coronavirus, are you? No, but well, I had to wash dead. my hands yeah, true, all the time. Like You shouldn't be having your dog licking your hands either. It's germs. Anyway. Don't yes. talk to me. It's he's he's yeah, a yeah. dog trainer. You don't want to come to my house. <laughs> I can't have big animals. I, I, I just can't. I I'm can't. glad um, you put something animals here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then old, old Chang Wei walks over again. I have one and that's enough. And yeah. <laughs> and his deck chair shirt. <laughs> um, but what does he... Su- yeah. my, my question before. Uh, what does he support you doing? What do you do? What's, what's your hobbies? You obviously, you do graphic, but do you get out and about? You don't have animals? My so hobby? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you. Is to look after him. I have two boys no, at that's home. that's a chore. <laughs> <laughs> Lyndon and my son Tia. That's... So they're my priority. So Lyndon's on his diet. Actually, he has been on a diet for four years uh, already. Do you know what? And this is something, because I no, I don't know you and Lyndon both very well. Now, you have supported him because Lyndon's got some serious issues. Not just <laughs> mentally, <laughs> not just physically, but also, you know, he's got this <laughs> diabetes weird shit and other diseases that he's got that he can't. And he goes Another on these, disease. He goes on these strange diets and wears weird Speedos, which apparently aren't Speedos, but we call them Speedos because that's the name that we give them. <laughs> but you support him with this. So you... you, you Put up with a lot. Yeah. Yes. Because you have to <laughs> weigh out his food for him and make yes. sure he gets stuff. Yeah. You're a frigging caring lady, but what do you get in return? The sex, <laughs> the sex can't be that good. <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> for those of you watching in black um, and white. <laughs> I think I enjoy doing that um i what the sex no oh yes. s- <laughs> <laughs> that's all i gotta look oh, diet, oh, diet, see that look. diet the diet stuff the diet um well he was diagnosed at 50 and it's a long I time mean, ago yes four yeah. years ago <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say more <laughs> <laughs> and um it was a shock to him it was a shock to me as well mm. and then but Lyndon was determined to reverse his diabetes of course it was a hard work it was a very hard work at first. 800 calories a day diet. So every day was like washing, buying, cooking, chopping, measuring something. It was a full-time job. Wow. Yeah, but not a lot. <laughs> Honestly, it was like from 9 o'clock. Yeah. Preparing, looking at something, ingredients yeah. you know, that go in it. It, it took all day. You've every been day. a really supportive. I mean, in all fairness, I, you I have been the to. most supportive partner that I know. And, and, and he should treat you... So he, well. He treats me really well. Does he? Yes. Good. It's not what I've heard. Yeah. I've heard I mean that he's he's nasty to you. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, <laughs> that's yeah, that's yeah. what you would like to think. Yeah. Can I just go back to the... the, the, the <laughs> I mean, wait, if you just split up for the last 10 years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> does he eat fish, even though he loves fish? Because Linden. last night at your dinner table, when I came over to say hello to you guys... Um, we had a... There was fish. a massive fish right in front Alex, of Alex, that was Alex. Alex wanted Alex that a fish. fish. She's got a name. You name <laughs> no. your fish. <laughs> Alex with no head. No, Alex M's husband. Okay. Happy he birthday for Am. Yeah. Am, isn't it? It's, I always call it Am. It's Am. 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 With a P or a Y? Well, actually, in English, it's A-M-P. Amp. Her Amp. name is actually M. Just A. With a silent M. P. M. Yeah, silent P. Mm. Yeah. Am. I don't we've, get it. we've all done that. Common nickname. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, um, it was her birthday at Bandpot because we yeah. was all at Bandpot last night. You Which mentioned I say last night. We're recording this on a Friday. This comes out on a Tuesday. So it was last Thursday at their Green Light event. Green Light event. Green Thank Lights, you. yeah. So it was all there. Go to it. Six till eight. Happy hour. Drinks are quite cheap. Mm-hmm. Food was good, beer? Was really good. So I had pork belly. I know. You, you had, had pork blender. belly. Talked about that. And we had the compressed cucumber. And the, what's the peas, the thing, the, 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 the edamame. Oh, what? Edamame. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
The, well, the beans, the peas, edamame. Well, I, f- I, f- I find, I, and really I love good. the food there. Yeah. I, I, I generally do. I always find it quirky, though, with restaurants like that, with, with a funky menu like, you know, your compressed cucumber and your deconstructed but things. But the combination it, it's brilliant. is it's brilliant. Yeah. Are you a foodie, would you say, Miss Beer? I like food. <laughs> yeah, can't you Am tell? I a foodie? I don't know, but I liked when... See, f- Freddie, Freddie, and when Jamie was, was there, I mean, he, r- he loved his food. Everything that goes to... The, you know the dishes. I mean, it it had a lot yeah, of yeah. It's care. a real it's a real pro for them. Yeah. But you two do eat out a lot because you're at supper clubs and then band pots and well, you do d- wine and dine quite a lot. But but honestly, we do think we, we plan our meal as well, and also we counting calories and fat and all that. We get into mm. that on the keto diet. But you see, band pot was easy last night because I need we needed a lot of fat, <laughs> so pork belly was easy to to consume. I and it was I easy to, to count. I, pork I, I, I adore pork belly. Yeah. Mm. If I could eat every day, I would. I love pork belly. Mm. And it was great because Linda and I had a conversation about his new keto diet, mm-hmm. whatever it's called. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you can just get, you can have as much animal fat as you want. And I was like, what? I was I, sceptical. I can have the skin on the chicken. Yeah. But I was never sceptical because back in the day, years ago, when my, my family were growing up, or my dad and mum were growing up, my dad would eat all sorts of animal fat. He had yeah. bread, you know, mm-hmm. uh, bread yeah. and, and dripping, which is just the, mm-hmm. the beef fat, yeah. mm. just on toast. Yes, yeah. And they weren't obese. That was it's disgusting. It's just animal fat. Mm-hmm. It's good for you. Eat more pork belly. What, what's not good is the Vegans. carbohydrates oh, that go in it Chinese. along yeah, with yeah. meat. So th- what they say is meat with carbs, so meat with sugar or flour, whatever, it's, a, it's not a good combination. Meat and fat, vegetables, yes. Yeah. So tonight I can have pork belly and broccoli for dinner. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Broccoli, broccoli has carbs, but oh, yeah, you all right. can. I'll have yeah. pork, pork belly and carrots. Am I allowed carrots? Carrots has L- high sugar, sugar as well. You oh, can have it, sake. but... Well, what, well, I can't even eat vegetables now. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, vegans. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 you can. You can. Vegans are screwed. Bok choy is good. Cauliflower is good. I do like bok choy. Good. Nice. I mean, I mean, uh, pumpkin. Am I allowed pumpkin? Too sweet. I mean, it depends on what you want sweet to potato. do. Sweet potato. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Yeah. Right. So I can eat bok choy and, and a spud. cauliflower. I mean, if you want to get into the diet, this diet, I mean, be prepared and make sure you really want to do it. Tomatoes. I would say, I would say that would be the same for for any Can I, no, just for any diet. Yeah? Tomatoes. Sugar. Tomatoes are okay, but it still has some, you know, some sugar in it. Oh, for Christ's but, also, sake. but you've got to bear in mind that But you're not going to eat like a sugar. huge amount. You're not gonna I don't eat like tomatoes, to be fair. But no, but I mean, the, the, like you'd say in the carrot, there's a fair amount of sugar in carrot. Mm-hmm. Right? But it's also, it's it's not like it's a processed sugar. So it's mm. a natural sugar. Well, it just upsets me now that I can't eat carrots. You can eat whatever you like, mate. I can see in the dark if I eat carrots. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Rabbits aren't fat. Y- okay, if you want to get into it, what, a rabbit? Look at your <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time. It's been three years since a divorce, but that's going a little oh. bit too far. I was still waiting for you. Hop Actually, to talking it. about that beer, but before I get into my bestiality, um, <laughs> you were supposed to set me up with some hot chicks. A hot rabbit? What's happened to that? I can't remember now. Who? Oh, what? you go quiet now. Right, it's coming to the end. Actually, we do need well, to... We, on, that we, particular yeah, note, on that particular note. Two quick questions. <laughs> yes. Firstly, can you please set him up with some hot chick? Thank you. I Secondly, tried. He tried. I did try. <laughs> didn't I go did very try. well. <laughs> Secondly. He didn't behave very well. <laughs> try again. If at first you don't succeed, did cheat. Did I not? What did I do? You were too funny. I was too funny. Uh, that's fair I enough. think what she means by that is I'd you're like not serious. I'd like to know who this person thinks I'm too funny. I think you're too funny. <laughs> oh, you were the person. Oh, no. bless. <laughs> Ten years ago, I was too funny. Well, we did go out. Oh, we never, we never yeah. dated, dated. No, we used to go well, out. that's why I said we did go out. Yeah, we, right. did go oh, out. Right. we We didn't go out, we just boinked. <laughs> no, we used, to, we used to hang out and go out for lunch and dinner a lot. Yeah. Back I'm just in the day. Yeah. He was too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next question. Looking perhaps a little bit ahead mm-hmm. from where we are now, what sort of things are on your bucket list? No bucket list. None at all? Jay asked me this. Nothing. Um, I actually said this to someone yesterday. Oh, actually, don't. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't mention it. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Lyndon just... No, no. I, I actually didn't hear it. I'm, I'm so. just going to check in good, with good, Judy good. for a sec. Okay. <laughs> Go on. <What? laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this is what Lyndon and I And believe. she's never done that before, Lyndon. Sorry. <laughs> 
but uh, I'll we, edit something in there. We basically <laughs> live a day at a time. Don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. Might die I do. tomorrow. I've got to get up at six thirty. <laughs> get, get to Russell's house by, car by seven to go or and something. Some carry some so, furniture. So you know, just to be blessed and thank it every day that you have. That's a good answer. It, it's a lovely answer, and I get it. Um, I'm just wondering if there wasn't something that. Okay. Yeah. There is. There is. That, yeah. Yes, yeah. There's always yeah. something. There is. So my son and Lyndon still my priority. I mean, I don't have any other f- focus but my career mm. and them. Okay. I just want to see my son through and, you know, have him to be, you know, the best person he, he can be. That's okay. a lovely bucket list. How old is he? He is 15 this year. Cool. And taller than beer. Um, yeah. That's not difficult. No, it's not difficult at all. No. <laughs> He's, um, a, he's blessed. He's Beer, we, we're we're well going to have to finish boy. off because we're, we're going over a little bit. Um, just if people want to get hold of you for graphic design, how would they do that? Uh, email me. That's easy. Any Phone chance me. you can tell us what that email address might be? It would prove useful. This is beer at gmail.com. And beer is spelled B I R E. No. B I E R. Okay, Bravo, so Indigo, Echo, this Romeo. Is yeah, this is beer at gmail.com. At gmail. Or just, gmail. just email Jada Shark and then I can get the uh, the 10% commission for passing jobs over. <laughs> <laughs> is it still 10%? Can I say no? <laughs> no. Yes, of course. You've said no many times <laughs> to me, beer, don't worry. <laughs> um, on that note, beer, thank you very much. Thank you for Pleasure. Much. Thank you, Russell. Super fun, been great. Thank you, Jay. You're very welcome. Thank Here's you, Russell. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the outro for Kun Beer, which I don't like you today. Which I should is no ex- different from any. No, day. I should. I can't even look at you. You <laughs> make me sick. Um, we're recording this in Russell's new facility, the new Canine Point Academy training. Is this a training room? This is the training room. It might be a bit echoey because um, it, I tell you what, it's frigging hot in your training room. I shouldn't say. Oh, hold on, edit that. It's not that hot. It's lovely and cool. Perfect for dog training. <laughs> I could turn all the fans on. Oh, that would be helpful. Yeah. Oh, you haven't got them on. Oh, wow, no. you have got a lot of fans. But then it would make That's a bit of noise for you if I took them on. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we're, we're doing our outro um, three days after we recorded Cumbia on Friday. I think we needed the time to process, really. What did you think? Brilliant. And that's about it. It was a great podcast. It was very different, I, wasn't it? She I, opened I think up, that's so one of the, speak. the best podcasts what you're laughing at. that we've done. But certainly in terms... Well, you've upset everyone else with your ratings, by the way. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. <laughs> so they can, they can all jog on. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, I just thought for a... I mean, t- totally unexpected. So, I mean, you know, I know some of the people that... What? I know some of the people that we've spoken to before. And they've got... You know, we've all got different stories and what have you. None of which have come out in the podcast. It's not needed to whatever we've just had some fun chatted about different things it's been great whereas Kumbir was just and it wasn't like we were saying oh we know this about you and we're going to try and draw this out I didn't know that about her and neither I've of us for, did I've known her for 12 years I had I absolutely knew nothing. no idea and it just, she just offered it and it was I mean again tip my hat kudos well I think it's important because this whole the idea of the podcast is about people's journeys from wherever they were to Phuket and what they now do in Phuket and that, that's kind of the what we're trying to get out of them. And it's, this is the first person that we've talked to who was born and brought up in Phuket. Yeah. So that was really and actually, a lot, a lot of the Thai people I know, I can't think of any that are actually born and bred Phuket. Beer. Other than beer. Yeah, you're right. No, I don't. No, it was good. She was lovely, eh? I'm not sure what she's doing with Lyndon. That's a straight... I should never got those two together. Yeah. I, I, I should have saved that one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I should have banked it for myself, really, yeah. shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like giving away your best panini sticker. To somebody. You just don't do it. Best panini sticker, is there? Yeah, maybe. Your last Rolo? Yeah, it depends if those those mini Rolos which we talked about before. Which, yeah, uh, which is no rubbish good. anyway. No good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're here at, um, we're not, not here, we are here at Canine Point Academy. It's getting there. It's doing good, your little place. Do you want to yeah. plug it quickly while we're here? Um, when are you opening? Uh, hopefully next week. Oh, wow, really? Maybe the week up. Well, operationally, um, I'm hoping to be ready by next week at some point. As in operationally ready, as opposed to big opening grand do, which will probably take place after some cran. Okay, nice. So it gives me a couple of weeks to test it. I see you've already tested out the training hall, yeah, running I mean, around with Grappa. That went really well. So <laughs> I'm glad to see that works. I did, I did have a little run around with the Grapp stuff. I, I will post that photo later because I thought that's quite a cool pic. Oh, do you, you like my pictures on the walls? I do like. I, I like the, the the sound of drilling. The We've got the aircon. The aircons are being installed today. So all the dog kennels got aircon. All the, they're not kennels, they're rooms. Thank you. Oh, all wow. our rooms at the resort have got aircons. Yeah, we'll <laughs> what? Nothing right. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Your rooms, your doggy daycare rooms, or week care, or month care, have all got aircon. They do. 
Do they have mini bars? They don't have mini bars. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Not actually. a bad idea, is it? Not sure how you charge them for that, though. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they could have like a little stand the, pour thing. Yeah, yeah, a little pour pan. Uh, anyway, yeah, so if you want to get your dog charged, I do like your pictures, actually. I'm, I'm surprised that there's not one of me on the wall anywhere. Well, that's, that's obviously, obviously coming later, isn't it? Um, but no, it's a very, I'm actually, it's a very cool. Shut up, drilling. Yeah, um, sorry okay, anyway, well, that's the outro, but thank you. If you do want to get your dog trained, come to K9 Point Academy. There you go. And uh, like us on Facebook. I still haven't got someone to do this, by the way. Like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, like us on Twitter. Thank you. That's it, really. Oh, like you or us? Both, really. Anyway, it's your podcast. What do I know? Yeah, excellent. Have you got a good week coming up? Or? Um, Guess not. <laughs> But we do have guests lined up this week, don't we? Yeah, on Friday we've got Martin Cote, who is a French-Canadian. Um, he's Nobody's a very, perfect. Yeah, no, he's a very funny guy, so we've got him. And then Jo Barnes, who was going to do last week, we've now got her coming in a couple of weeks' time. Score. Cool. Um, and Sophie Govan we're going to do at some point. Um, and then a load of other people that we talked to the other night yeah. that want to come on. So no, we're very Brilliant. busy. If you want to be on, uh, jodashark at gmail.com. Do you ever check that email address? That one I do, yeah, because oh, okay, it's my email cool. address. Uh, Phuket's Best Burger, the 28th of March, if you want to go, it's free to go in. Um, bring your own hand sanitizer. Because <laughs> I can't afford to buy any more. It's very expensive, isn't it? And so is alcohol, as in not vodka and gin, but we'll just use like vodka instead. medical alcohol. And yeah. it's tripled and quadrupled in oh, price. Well. Supply and demand. Yeah. E economics, baby. Right, Cheers. on that note, thanks, Russell. Bye. Bye.